Episode of Shivabodha Malika. Today we shall be looking at Shiva as Andhakasura Samhara Murti, the one who killed Andhakasura. Let's look at the story behind this. The story of Andhakasura Vada occurs in multiple Puranas and the references also come in the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The more popular version of the story is that once Parvati very playfully closes the eyes of Rameshwara and that leads to complete darkness in the world. And that also produces an individual born of Shiva, who is blind by birth. This child is called as Andhaka because he was born blind. One version of the story says that this child was given to Hiranyaksha when Hiranyaksha did penance towards Shiva and was raised as the son of Hiranyaksha. And in later times, when he grows up, he starts causing menace and nuisance to the entire universe to the extent that he even desires to take away Parvati from Parameshwara, not knowing that Shiva and Parvati are his real parents. This angers Parameshwara and Parameshwara puts an end to Andhakasura using his Trishula. In some stories, the end of Andhaka, Andhakasura happens with this itself. In few stories, it is extended to say that after this, after the Andhaka Suravadha, Shiva resurrects back Andhaka and blesses him. Andhaka then regains his, he understands his true nature, his parental, his parentage of Shiva and Parvati and asks for mercy and pardon to Parameshwara and Parameshwara accepts Andhaka as one of his ganas. In, so, in some stories, Andhakasura is not mentioned as born of Shiva and Parvati. He is born of Hiranyaksha itself. And then the story continues that he continues to oppress the Devas and the universe. And finally, Shiva puts an end to Andhakasura using the Trishula. So if you look at a story, it is no different a story from what we typically hear. But what is the symbolism behind the story? Just like with the other heroic acts of Shiva, where Shiva puts an end to desire or Kama, Shiva puts an end to death itself, that is Yama. Here, Shiva is putting an end to ignorance, the darkness of ignorance, which is represented by Andhaka. So Andhaka, the blindness, is actually the blindness of ignorance, which we are all in. The ignorance of samsara, the ignorance of the self, the ignorance of our true nature. This is what Shiva puts an end to and blesses us with the true knowledge 
to the light of self-realization. So this is the ultimate message or the essence of the Andhakasura story. In that story, there is one other important information that as Shiva was killing Andhakasura and his blood used to fall on the fall on the earth, that used to give rise to many more Andhakas. This story we find a similar version repeating in many, many uh, other stories as well. In this case, the essence or the symbolism of that is that ignorance is infinite. Ignorance breeds ignorance. Hence, it is only Parameshwara who will come as the eternal Guru, as a Loka Guru, who can put an end to this ignorance. Otherwise, the ignorance can manifest itself in different forms and can remain as infinity, as eternal. The other symbolism that we find in the story, especially in the version where Andhaka is born, then Parvati closes the eyes of Parameshwara. Parameshwara represents the Supreme Purusha, the Self, the Atman. And Parvati represents Prakriti. When the Self is covered and Prakriti is only to be seen, then that results in ignorance. That is ignorance, the ignorance of the Self. So when the eyes of the Atman or the, when the Atman is no more seen, the Atman gets covered. There is an Avarana around the Atman. And Prakriti only manifests that results in ignorance. That is also the symbolism of this story. Now in terms of representation, you find in many of the images, in most cases you will find that the Andhaka Suravada is represented by Shiva holding the Trishula and Andhaka as an Asura who is towards the, at the end of the Trishula. He is killed using the Trishula. And so you can see the representation of Andhaka Sura on the Trishula. As you can see in all these images, be the one in the, in the caves, or the ones that you find in Belur and the one that you find in the museum in Mumbai. All these representations and most of the representations of Shiva as Andhakasura, Samhara Murti is represented this way. Now when we come to the Attavirattana Stalams, the eight temples dedicated to the heroic acts of Shiva, Shiva is Andhaka, Sura Samhara Murti is worshipped in Tirukkoilur near Tiruvannamalai. Tirukkoilur is the place where Shiva is one of the Attavirattana Stalams where Shiva is worshipped as Andhaka, Sura Samhara Murti. Though the original the Swayambhu Murti is a Lingam, the Utsava, as you can see in this image, is, is an Andhakasura Samhara Murti representation where Shiva is standing with the Trishula. At the end of the Trishula is the Andhakasura. On the side are the Matrikas. The Matrikas and especially Kali and the other Matrikas were brought forth as per the story in some cases by Vishnu and in some cases by Shiva to contain the blood that was flowing out of Andhakasura and creating more Andhakas. So you can see on the side, on the right of Parameshwara, a small Matrika sitting down and holding the, the Patra or the cup that collects the blood. To the left of Parameshwara is Parvati, who is known as Hariyanayaki or Shivananda Valli in this temple. So this is the Utsava that you find in the Tirukkoyilur temple which is dedicated for Shiva as Andhakasura Samhara Murti. Now the reference to this Andhakasura Vadha comes in the Ramayana. In Ramayana, 
you will find that in many many places especially where rama is waging war and is in the in the midst of the war he is always compared to to that of shiva as shiva was waging the war and killed the asura so is rama doing this how valmiki always draws a comparison between rama and shiva this we shall deal with in one of our upcoming sessions as well so in the ramayana at the in the episode where rama destroys khara and his huge army single handedly rama destroys all of them whereas lakshmana and uh, sita are sent to a safe place inside a cave rama single handedly destroys the entire army of khara so there when khara is destroyed valmiki says उन with the fiery arrows that were fired by rama so he fell down on the earth tatsa papat karo bhuma dakhyamanah sharagrina with the fire of sharas with the fiery arrows he was burnt away says valmiki so when we look at the uh, the tevaram hymns both jnana sambandhan and upper have sung on the perumal here in fact it is said that tirupjnana sambandhan first arrived at tirukkoyilur and from tirukkoyilur is where he had the darshanam of annamalayar of tiruvannamalai annamalayar was first that the gobura darshanam happened from tirukkoyilur tirukkoyilur is at a slight elevation and from tirukkoyilur you can see the temple of annamalai tiruvannamalai and those days tiruvannamalai was infested with forest it was in the midst of dense forests so first jnana sambandha perumana arrives in tirukkoyilu he sings on the lord here and from here he has a darshan on the gobura darshanam of tiruvannamalai and then he is taken by annamalai or towards tiruvannamalai which is a different story upper perumana also sings on the parameshwara here now the beauty of both these padigams they sing one one padigam each both these padigams is the story is not necessarily mentioned in those padigams of shiva killing andhakasura but what is mentioned is the ignorance of human life as a human what are the various ignorances we have of that of, the, of that of the family the wife the children the parents the wealth the house the fame the name the body the diseases the mind everything we assume it to be us 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 ours i and mine this ignorance they pray to the lord parameshwara to remove these ignorances in both the padigams you find this stream of thought so that itself indicates the symbolism of andhakasura in the padigam uh, of upper perman he says he begins saying अंधकोन मुगप्रमण्य tarak asura sindhamuka surapatma everybody so kai vel 
Tirukkaivel. They say is one of the etymologies of Tirukkoilur, Tirukkovalur. This is one of the etymologies given by some scholars. So Koval Virattan Ire is Virattan of Tirukkoval. This is how the Parameshwara in this temple is praised. So may that Parameshwara, may that Andhakasura Sambhara Murti also remove our ignorance, our Andhakara. I hope all of you enjoyed the session today. We shall come up with another form of Shiva in the upcoming week. Until then, Namaskar.